Hi, do you have two or more different email accounts that need checking on a daily basis? Is the thought of making sure that all of your emails are checked and responded to keeping you up at night and putting gray hairs in your beard? Well, have no fear. I have a solution to all your woes. It's as easy as telling your email accounts to send all of your messages to one master account. Think of it like having a little guy constantly checking your email and forwarding everything from one account to another master account that you check. How, you ask? Well, keep watching and I'll show you how. Before we begin, this tutorial will show you how to forward emails from a Gmail account. If you have another email provider, this can still be done using the same processes. You just need to do a little Google search for exactly how to forward email messages from the type of email account you have. So here's a common scenario. Luke has three email accounts that he needs to check daily. Account 1, Account 2, and Account 3. Luke wants to be able to check all emails sent to him and reply to them from Account 3. This can be easily done. The first step is to log into Account 1 and tell it to forward all emails to Account 3. Then, log into Account 2 and tell it to forward all its emails to Account 3. Now all Luke needs to do is check his master account, Account 3. One thing to note is that when we do this, we do not want to create a forwarding loop. Imagine now that Leia is doing the same thing, but afterwards Leia tells account 3 to forward all emails to account 2. This will create a loop where accounts 2 and 3 keep forwarding the same email back and forth until she has two accounts full of the same email over and over. In this scenario, Leia's inbox is going to be full in a matter of minutes. We want to make sure that this doesn't happen to you, so make sure that you're only forwarding in one direction not creating a forwarding loop. Now let's take a look at how to forward your emails. Start by choosing the account that will be your master account, the account that you'll be checking. Now log into a Gmail account that you want to set to forward all emails to your master account. It doesn't matter if you're using the old or the new version of Gmail, the process will look exactly the same. I'm actually going to log into my account and walk you through the steps as we go through it. So you're at your inbox and in the top right corner you have a settings gear. When you click on that it will bring down a drop down menu. In that settings gear drop down menu you want to again choose the word settings. While in your email settings you will see a list of options at the top of the screen. You want to choose the option that says forwarding and pop forward slash IMAP. At this screen, forwarding, this is where you'll click on add a forwarding address. It will ask you to enter a new forwarding email address. Here's where you'll type in your master account's email address. For example, Chad Riffle at gmail.com and click next. It's going to verify that you want to forward all your mail to whatever email address you typed in. You'll click proceed and then it says a confirmation code has been sent. The next step is to log into your master email account and check your email. Now in my master email account, I have an email to confirm forwarding to this email address. This is important that you do this because it won't work unless you um, confirm the forwarding email address. You have two options. You can click on the link, which will bring up a, a question that says confirm, and you can confirm that way. Or you can take this nine digit number, and you can just go ahead and plug that in where it says verify your email address you'll type it in there and click verify. Now that you've verified the confirmation code, you have to go back into your master account, go settings, settings, and then under forwarding and pop IMAP, you'll click on forwarding, 
and tell it to forward a copy of your incoming mail to and choose that inbox. Okay. You'll also see there are four options for what your original account is going to do with the original email. All right, and the last thing I'd like to show you guys is let's say you're forwarding from one account to another account and for some reason you want to stop the forwarding from happening. You have two options. One is to just go into the settings here and choose disable forwarding. And the other option is to go into the settings and then click on the, the email address of the account. And then where it says remove that email address, if you click on that and then OK it, it'll take it right off so it can't forward it to that email address anymore.